We are watching science be destroyed in real time, retconned out of existence by the same types of individuals that in other aspects would tell you to trust the science. Welcome back to Words of Paradise, I'm your host, Leon Idol, and we gotta talk about this article. An article about a scientific conference being cancelled because of gender ideology. Now, now what was this conference about, might you ask? Well, I'm glad you did so. It is about anthropologists and archaeologists using data and the, the scientific tricks we've learned throughout the scientific method to identify the genders and the sex of science skeletons way beyond their death. You know, learning about history, but you can't have that in 2023 because it crushes people's ideas of gender normativity. Let's get into this article and how we are, again, watching science be destroyed in favor of our wackadoo, crazy 21st century ideologies. Conference cancels panel on biological sex and human skeletons over transphobia fears commits the cardinal sin. Elizabeth Weiss, an anthropology professor at San Jose State University, said the field is falling in an off-the-rails agenda. Now, this, this is a chick. This is a female from California. Even a California white female is saying, yo, this is going a bit crazy. Let's go through here. Exclusive anthropologists from the largest association of anthropologists in the world canceled an event discussing the importance of biological sex in the context of studying the human skeleton while citing transphobia as the reason for the panel being cut. You now have scientists too afraid to speak academically in their in their scientific panels because they are afraid of the trans mob. Like like for all you individuals out there that are part of this, you know, this is trans community. Is this your goal? Is this what you wanted? Were you wanting to shut down science? Because once again, let's walk back to, you know, 2020, the, the summer of 2020, when I'm sure that you guys were stuck in your homes dealing with your own mental illness. I thought your whole thing was trust the science. But now, here you are. You've got real scientists so damn scared to talk about actual science that they are canceling scientific conferences. Are, are you proud of yourselves? Do you look down at the hole where your dick used to be after you had it cut off and you think, you know what, I've done a real good Good job. The American Anthropological Association, AAA, and the Canadian Anthropology Society, COSCA, were skewered for walking back their approval for a panel event at its 2023 conference discussing biological sex. The AAA and COSCA said they were now tightening its review process to ensure an event wouldn't recur in the future. So they're making it, at this point, I don't even know who to be upset about. Like, like yes, obviously you want to be upset at the individuals pushing these trans ideology on the streets, on social media, at the highest levels of academia, but you also gotta be mad. It, obviously gonna be mad at Canada. I'm sure Canada was happy to just throw the baby out with the bathwater on this one. But the American Anthropological Society, no, they're going, they're, they're okay with this. They're tightening its review process to ensure this type of event wouldn't recur in the future. This is actual damn science. What do you mean this shouldn't occur in the future? No, we need panels like this. The public, the other, the scientific community, people need to know about our history, about, you know, science in general, about what the, the learning process that comes from being humans, you know, multiple things thousands of years of human evolution and this is where we end up being scared to study it because you might piss off a few individuals that hear voices in their heads like no I I'm, I'm sorry you got to be just as upset at the scientists who are agreeing to this the event in question discussed sex identification whether an individual was male or female using the skeleton is one of the most fundamental components in bioarchaeology and forensic anthropology and you want to know why that is it's because nine times out of ten you can tell whether someone was a dude or a chick purely looking at their skeletal structure because there is a biological difference you want to claim oh gender's a social construct I ain't here to argue whether that is or isn't the case I mean let's be real it isn't gender is not a social construct but for the sake of argument let's say you're right let's say it is biological sex still ain't a you know social construct that's goddamn science and now you're fighting against that as well like it was fun to make fun of you for your social ideas but now you are actually destroying the realm of human learning one of the speakers who was slated to attend Elizabeth Weiss, an anthropology professor at San Jose State University, said in an interview with Fox News Digital, the field has been nosediving in an off-the-rails agenda, with activists pushing for some facts to be replaced with feelings. Oh, oh no, we got Weiss over here sounding too much like Ben Shapiro. I'm sure the mob is absolutely coming for her purely for that sentence alone. As anthropologists have developed more precise metrics to determine the sex of the human skeleton, the study, the study in the field, the more they get attached for knowing and being able to determine those differences, she said, because these individuals, they don't want there to be any difference. They want to live in some fantasy clown world where there is zero difference. You know, they want to treat
street like Street Fighter, where Chun Li can you know beat all these big massive dudes like Zangief just on grit. I'm sorry, that ain't how the real world works. The real world ain't a movie, it ain't a video game. There are notable differences between men and women. Now, are there outliers? Yeah, absolutely. But we're looking in the confines of the norms. What is generally true? And yes, if you were to look at a uh, skeleton, male, female, people who are trained in that field will very obviously be able to tell the differences because they exist and pretending they don't exist or getting upset they exist. I'm sorry, I, I don't care about your feelings. That's not how the world works. That's not how the world has ever worked. And if we let these individuals continue on their tirade and on their rampage to destroy science, then we're going to have generations of individuals that do think that's how the world works. You're actively making your kids dumber. You're making the movie Idiocracy genuinely come to fruition with retarded gender ideology like this. So just as we are getting better and better at identifying what is male and what is a female in the skeletal record, we are getting more and more attacked for knowing how to do this, she said in an interview with Fox News Digital. Truth is not necessarily considered an objective goal, and the victim's narrative is more important than the facts. Who tells the story more important than the data, which we obviously know is not true? I'm telling you, Weiss, you gotta get out of California. Like San Jose ain't gonna do it for you when you say things like the victim's narrative is more important than the facts. They're gonna treat you like Voldemort, like, oh, she who must not be named. You're gonna be the scientific J.K. Rowling. The letter announcing the session being cancelled said, Dear panelists, we write to inform you of the request of numerous members of the respective executive boards of, of the AAA and Costco reviewed the panel submission why biological sex remains a necessary analytic category in anthropology and reached the decision to remove the session. Yes, uh, again, you're, you probably I doubt you had a bunch of trannies on Twitter or on X throwing a fit about this panel because trannies don't look up this sort of stuff. I'm, I've never met myself so Somebody who was all right in the head, who you know thought they were in a different body or whatnot, who followed a lot of scientific journals from anyone other than I don't know Salon. If you want to call Salon a uh, a scientific journal, no. What this was, and this was some people up top within AAA and within Costco who either a are already infected with this woke mind virus themselves, or B, are so terrified what this small minority of 0.7% or 0.07% or whatever it is of a population could do, that they are willing to just outright deny science to cancel the furtherment of science because of optics, because of pure optics. And, and that needs to be, we need to shame these individuals, shame these scientists. And these, you know what? I, I, doubt, I doubt the heads of AAA and Costco are even really field study. I mean, I'm sure they got like their, their doctorate or whatnot back in the 60s and they're a bunch of old people who are in charge now because that's how it always works. And they're afraid of the optics, but they haven't done field work in 40 years. They got no concept of what's going on now. All they're worried about is how it's going to look in the papers. In response, the anthropologists who were slated to speak at the event wrote a letter calling the decision to remove the session from the conference an anti-science response. You got damn right it's an anti-science response. And kudos to those scientists and, and those anthropologists, those speakers who wrote this letter, actually sticking it to the individuals at the top that would cancel something absolutely factually accurate and I would argue necessary. Your suggestion that our panel would somehow compromise the scientific integrity of the program seems to us particularly egregious as the decision to anthem uh, anathematize I am not a scientist or anthropologist. Some words are going to be difficult for you, boy. Uh, our panel looks very much like an anti-science response to be politicized lobbying uh, to a politicized lobbying campaign. Just calling it as it is. You know, I always thought a lot of scientists were eggheads that spend too much time around their beakers, but uh, nah, it seems like they got the social skills to go for the damn throat on this one. Uh, anthropologists around the world still quite rightfully find chilling this declaration of war on dissent and on scholarly, scholarly controversy. It's a profound betrayal of the AAA's principle of advancing human understanding and applying this understanding to the world's most pressing problems. Well, these individuals, they don't want uh, human understanding. You know, they, they want understanding of things that are, again, anti-science. They want understanding of mental illness, but they don't want to claim is a mental illness. They want, oh, this is how the world worked. Here, I can show you a bunch of individuals from the 15th century that were actually probably trans, but the church was so mean they wouldn't let them be trans, so they've been lost to history. Now, I'm not saying something like that. That never happened. I wasn't around in the 15th century. All I'm saying was, you do see a lot of, again, retconning of history when it comes to the transgender ideology as if it's a goddamn Marvel comic or something.
Fox News Digital contacted the heads of the AAA and Casca. The AAA released a comment to Fox which said, There is no place for transphobia in anthropology. Well, whoopdee, it's good for you. Yeah, that's, there's no place for transphobia in anthropology. No one's out here being transphobic. We're talking about actual science, using the skeletal structure of the r remains of a dead individual to determine if they were a male or a female. That is not fucking transphobic. And the fact that we have an American institution, that that's their answer, that blanket answer, there's no place place for transphobia and anthropology shows they don't give a fuck about the science. They don't care about academia. All they care is making sure they get... I mean, I, I don't want to talk too much about ESG scores and whatnot because, I'm going to be real, I think a lot of that stuff is incredibly overblown, but I don't really know what else to say at this point. Like, I, I'm sorry, is BlackRock funding the, the AAA and Casca? I assume they are. They fund everything else. There is no transphobia in using science to figure out what, you know, oh man, King Tut, let, let's go back. Imagine if we had never discussed King Tut until now. Well, we wouldn't know it was King Tut. It'd be they, them, Tut. It is absolutely bananas that this is their blanket response. And went on to claim that science of biological sex was not settled and that sex was not binary. Look, again, I almost understood your argument when you were talking about how gender is not a binary. I still disagreed heavily and thought that you were a moron, but I could understand your argument because you were always making the claim sex and gender are different. They're not the same thing. Even if that was the case, Sex has been fucking settled. Sex has absolutely been settled. Ain't no self-respecting scientist in the world think that you know, sex wasn't settled. When people still believe the earth was flat, those scientists then at least knew, yeah, we got a pretty good grasp on sex. Like, what are you talking about? It went on to claim the science of biological sex was not settled. You mean to tell me humans been around for tens of thousands of years, but we're only just now realizing, huh, there might be more than just boys and girls. I don't know how we evolved like this and we continue to have all these children to make the world go round and created all these fascinating inventions to better our environment, but the idea of what's swinging between our legs, we still ain't figured that out after tens of thousands of years! The session was rejected because it was framed in ways that do harm to vulnerable members of our community. It commits one of the cardinal sins of scholarship. It assumes the truth of the proposition that it was set out to prove, namely that sex and gender are simplistically binary, and that this is a fact with meaningful implications for the discipline, the Triple A told Fox, uh, told Fox News Digital. What absolute word salad. Like, first of all, I will acknowledge that is technically the cardinal sin of any sort of investigate, uh, investigative process assuming the outcome and then building your narrative around what you think the outcome will be. Like, that, that that's the cardinal sin of police work. That's going to be a cardinal sin in, you know, anything like this as well. But we know this is true already. The science, it's not like the science is still out on it. Once again, thousands upon thousand years of human evolution, this one we pretty much got in the bag. So yeah, we there's a reason that we know King Tut was King fucking Tut. Because even in the 30s, we could take a look at that skeletal structure and be like, that was a dude. In fact, we were so good, we were able to narrow down the age. King Tut was about 19 years old, give or take. So not only was it a dude, but he was a young man with a club foot. It further said that anthropologists should not strive to identify sex conclusively, and that sex determinations were merely an estimation. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Around the world and throughout human history, there have always been people whose gender roles do not align neatly with their reproductive anatomy. Hold on, hold on. We're not talking about gender roles. We're talking about sex, because you guys have always made the claim that sex is real, but gender is different, and that you got onto us for saying, no, they're the same. You can't sit there and now try and conflate them and be like, oh no, they're the same. No shit, they're the same. That's what your boy's been saying for the better part of a decade, and you've been telling me that I'm a transphobic, anti-LGBT fascist or whatever. So no, no, no. Are they the same or are they not? Because this is about biological sex. There is no single biological standard to which all humans can reliably, reliably be sorted into a binary male-female sex classification. Triple A continued, yes there is! There's male, there's female, and then you got some mutants in the middle when stuff goes wrong with their chromosomes and whatnot. But we can't act like that's the norm. Those are mutations. They're not good, and they're meant to be excised from the gene pool. Like, I, I cannot believe, that, again, they are just kowtowing to ideology. There's, it's not even, this point it doesn't even sound like they're afraid of the ideology. It sounds like they believe in it 
full force. Like, like they have been trained that so much. Have you ever tell yourself a lie so much that, you know, and you end up believing it's true or you've been told a lie so much that you knew it was a lie, but you heard it so many times, you end up just, you know, accepting it as truth and then it kind of blows your mind when you think about, oh, right, that wasn't true. That's what's happening here. The AAA is either going all in on this lie because they get some sort of benefit from it or they have been told this lie for so long that they just they are acknowledging it is true now. I don't know which it is and I don't know which is worse, but either way, science is out the damn window. There, there, there is no science here only ideology, and that is the future that these individuals want. The AAA went on to compare gender-critical scholarship to race science of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Um, I'm gonna be real, guys. There is a notable difference between uh, race science and gender-critical whatever that is, and also... Race science, you know, it was a, it was an early time. People weren't exactly familiar with a lot about how the human body and human brain worked and whatnot. So for its time, I'm gonna be real and say, I don't think race science was a big deal. Now, thankfully, our findings have come out and said, you know, hey, uh, there, there's no you know links between people of different races and, and their intelligence. I think that's good. I'm glad we did the science to come to that conclusion. Because let me tell you, I met plenty of genius black dudes and living in the Midwest. I met a lot of dumb fuck white people. But you know what? It's good that we tested the science to find out if there was any patterns. Gender critical shit, we don't need to test science on that. Once again, humans been you know repopulating and being in their own sex and their own bodies for thousands of years. I don't think that's the same thing. Why is it actually want to push their agenda in the field of anthropology. I also think the increase in the trans, what I would say, social contagion, <laughs> speak girl, has led to activists in the field. So they're not really interested in understanding how a tribe in the rainforest of Brazil lived. They want to push their agenda onto those narratives to make it more, uh, more seem more normal, Weiss said. Oh yeah, what a shock! You know, first world white American girls that think they're boys want to pretend that the, the you know tribes in the Amazon rainforest in Brazil also have transgenderism. Except for we've done studies, uh, you know, w w with actual tribes, and no, that's not the case. This is absolutely a symptom of the first world. The third world. They actually don't have transgenderism, and they find it mind-boggling that it's something that comes from the West. So, yes, it is absolutely all agenda-driven. There's no science behind this at all. And while I'm sure everybody watching this already knew this, you're like, yeah, Leon, duh, this isn't for you. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm glad you clicked on the video. Thanks, you know, we're on, we're on the same team. But this is for those straggling idiots who may just have found me because, you know, I talk about Spyro the Dragon or Sonic the Hedgehog, and maybe this will give you guys a clue as to what is actually going on in the realm of science. I tell you guys I'm a nerdy news channel, and usually why is I nerdy, that, you know, you think, oh, pop culture, no, 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 science, academia, that is real nerdism, like, like, you, you, boy, I was going to, to college for astronomy, you know, doing physics for fun on my, on my off time, that's real nerdism, and nerd culture outside of pop culture, like, actual nerd culture in the classroom and academia, that is all but destroyed, and we're seeing it on full display here, and it needs to be stopped. This is not something that we can just wave off as, oh, you know, they, they changed the, the gender of a character in another Marvel movie. This is anthropology being destroyed for ideology. You must fight against that, but those are just my opinions, hopefully yours as well in this instance. Let me know in the comments down below, or let me know on X, where you can find me at both the word. And please do subscribe, I am a nerdy news channel, I cover nerdy news every day, and I'll be honest, I don't know when the next time I'm going to cover something is as massively boneheaded as this is going to be. So, uh, if this was a little bit much for you, you need a palate cleanser, check out some of my previous videos. I got stuff on Dragon Ball Z, anime, you know, movies, video games, you name it. I also do have an Instagram now, so you can follow me on Instagram at uh, Words of Paradise underscore Leon. And until next time, it's all here in the Nerdosphere. And this has been Words of Paradise.